Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fault New Vegas. So, um, let me just adjust my mic so it's not close to my face. As for uh, New Vegas Bounties 1, uh, it broke, as I said in the last episode, and I can't fix it. I don't know what's going on. I've, I've restarted the whole mod, reset the whole thing, ran it with just that mod and nothing else attached and it wouldn't work. The quest wouldn't start, the guy wouldn't show up, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't continue through and I've played this mod so many times and it's the first time I've seen this happen and I love this mod and it's something that deserves a 9 or a 10 out of 10 because the story is great and it says some of the best uh, action and combat that you'll ever see as a villain, a villain that you just hate so much and you just want to capture him and, and torture him to death. Is it just. Ugh, you, you hate him. And it's not just one villain, there's two villains. The guy Marco, he was talking about before, who you actually don't even meet it, uh, in this episode. You meet. It, 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 his, the chase, chasing him down actually leads to New Vegas Bounties episode 2. And a lot of our clever new cameos were actually from the staff of that mod, so it just it it just makes me wanna. So I hear you heard about it, pissed off and mad about it. Can I hear you scream and shout it, pissed off and mad about it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> okay, apparently my. Texan blood is acting up. <coughs> I gotta take my medication. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't act up again. But yeah, and it, it 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 uh it made me uh well, uh, I'm sure you've read this by now, uh, which pretty much sums up in the first episode. Uh, yeah, so, it made me question, uh, I actually had to restart back to this point, just because, uh, the whole role-playing thing, I had no reason to go, uh, there, and the direction that we were traveling in, uh, from an in-character point of view, because I, I've disabled the mod, it's not there anymore. So, um, it really made me question... Do I want to do a let's play of this, or do I want do want want to do a let's play of uh, modded plot three? Because it, I I had the question. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do. Uh, because it it sort of came down to uh, to basically the the killer application or that each of these had with their mods. Like with Fallout three, it was uh, Mothership Zeta Crew. And with here, it was New Vegas Bounties, because they're both really excellent mods. But then I came to this realization. Kelsey Love. Uh, but the thing is, there's a lot good in Fallout New Vegas just by itself alone and uh, you know the mods are still great so and, and the New Vegas Bounties was the its story was uh, important to the main story I actually had up and would sort of role play through is why I do this then this then th you know but uh, yeah I'm not gonna let that set me back. I'm not even sure if I want to do New Vegas Bounties 2, but I've got it all set up. And, uh... <laughs> I, I hope I didn't disturb too many people with this.
And that song, those song lyrics out. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're going to Helios. And uh, I said we wouldn't go here. We wouldn't uh, head inside this place. But we actually are. We're just going to take a peek inside. I don't know if we'll actually be able to continue through all this. Hey. 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 Where is he? Mate. <laughs> okay. I was actually wondering if all my mods, uh, went back and snapped back in place correctly because I again I disabled everything for a while as I was testing let me sit back in my seat and we have these bodies Talker on. Yeah, good uh, and uh, apparently, Millennia has made a lot more of these kinds of uh, of, of weapon mods. Hello! Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. Yeah. Well. I guess we'll come back here later. Uh, we'll have some fun at this place during this I can tell you that. But Millennia has released a lot of these types of, of mods lately. Where it's sort of a new gun that's uh, seamlessly integrated, more or less. But I wouldn't touch most of these weapons. Because it's either the quality is just for some reason slipping, or I just don't like the gun model. That 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 specific uh, gun that uh, he's that that he's that he's added in. Because he's using real world guns like an M14, which I hate that gun. I think it's just ugly. Yeah, I don't even think I stopped by that that little train house and picked up the cigarettes and fission batteries at. Oh well. Oh, and again about those uh, that death claw, that young death claw, and how I kicked the crap out of it several times with that grenade launcher. Again, that was just a young death claw. Uh, when you get when you start dealing with an adult death claw, it's, it's much worse. And I did have uh, a <coughs> ah, 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 god damn, god damn. don't eat the squirrel bits, man. They uh, they ain't good. As I was saying, I did have the advantage in that fight where I had the grenade launcher, obviously, and I knew he would be coming. So yeah, if I hadn't been an adult, I probably would have gotten kicked around a lot. Thankfully the knockdown of the grenade launcher uh, helps with that, so now we have this sort of NCR outpost. Let's see who's around. Hey there, baby. I'm Nina. Said, said hey. Said hey, I'm not... What are you, some kind of lesbian? <laughs> I believe she's stuck. I believe he's talking to Veronica. Minutes. 
Veronica. Why do we always hurt the ones we care about the most? That made me feel bad. That's sad. That's just sad. That's sad. Anyway. Hey there. Welcome to the 188 Slopping Shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Uh, who are you? Samuel Kerr at your service. Me and my daughter Michelle run this fine establishment. We came here from Prim about a month past. Doesn't look like much, but it's one hell of a location. Why'd you leave Prim? Michelle and I ran a little shop in Prim till the prison break north of town spoiled it for everyone. Goddamn convicts just about shut down I-15. When traffic dried up, we took to our heels to find us some customers. I'm not one to sit around waiting to get saved, and Michelle ain't neither. Why is business so good here? When 15 shut down, 95 became the route NCR citizens used to get to the Strip, or limp back home, after the Strip's drained them of caps. We get them coming and going. Coming. Fuckers flush with caps they saved to gamble on the Strip. And going, the same folks. But now they're losers who will trade you the shirt off their backs so they don't starve before they make it back home. Add in the troopers marching back and forth from McCarran and the dam, and well, let's just say we don't miss print. I'd like to see what you have for sale. You bet. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, nothing really useful. Goodbye. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Thought I was stuck there. Uh, hey. Uh, I guess we'll have to talk to Veronica. Uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Which will probably be tomorrow. First, let's see if there's anything else to do around here. Like... The Strip's got more gorgeous women than I've ever seen in one place. And most of them's affordable. I've never seen a robot like that before. What's up? Don't bother me, please. Hey, I lost everything I had at the tops. If you gave me 500 caps, I'd head straight back. Sick, huh? It's Your robot looks worth quite a few caps. Here. You'd be better off throwing rocks. What's up? Go east, they say. Scrap line in the sun for you to grab. Yeah, right. On the strip. Everyone's nice to you when you got the caps. The moment you don't, they throw your ass out. Your robot looks worth quite a few caps. Hey, don't bother me, please. The Strip's got more gorgeous women than I've ever seen in one place. And most of them's... Okay, so anyway, now that we've done that... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next... Now we're gonna save here so we don't have to go through all that trouble again. But I'm sick of. Oh, I'm knackered. You had the worst night's sleep last night. We camped out, some prick comes along.